Hey people, um, been seeing a lot of videos on uh, YouTube lately uh, dealing with uh, algae problems and uh, how to prevent them, how to take care of them when you get them and so on and so forth. Um, I thought I'd do a quick one on how I handle it. Uh, right now I got uh, some BBA going on in my tank and uh, as with the opinion of everybody else I do agree that it has to do with the CO2 fluctuations I use DIY CO2 and it starts off you know roaring to go and then after so many days it slows down and then towards the end of the week it usually dies off so you get definite fluctuations not to mention the daily fluctuations of lights on lights off um, I do treat with Excel um, I got a 55 gallon and I use a cap full of Excel which uh, actually this is not exactly Excel this is a uh, hybrid of <laughs> scleroderaldehyde but uh, at any rate for all intents and purposes it's Excel and I thought I'd go through and show you how I treat for BBA so uh, bear with me here I'm gonna have to set the camera down here for a minute No, oh, actually, I'm going to do it this way. Um, regular uh, little plastic syringe, uh, or oral syringe as they call them in the store. You can pick them up at uh, any drugstore, Walmart. Uh, just go into the pharmacy section and ask for where their oral syringes are. And uh, you can see it's uh, graduated out in milliliters. But... Uh, Take that guy and stick him down in there. And the level's low, too low for me to draw up. All right, hold on. Didn't prepare very well for this. All right, we're gonna have to do this this way here. Fill a cap full. Okay. So I got five milliliters in there. Take it over the tank, and if you look, you can see the BBA on the edges of these plants. Just go in with the syringe. Slightly spray it on where the worst of it is. And uh, tomorrow I'll do some more. Um, but that's uh, that's basically how you do it. Um, I have done up to 10 milliliters, which is a double dose in the tank. What I usually do is maybe do a 10 milliliter treatment and and then a five milliliter, uh, a couple of five milliliter treatments for the next couple days, and then I'll do another 10 milliliter treatment if needed. Um, usually after about three to five days of treatment it usually uh, you can notice a big difference the uh, the uh, BBA will get uh, it'll turn kind of reddish and whitish and and then it'll just start dropping off and and dying so uh, it uh, it definitely is an effective treatment uh, I have also used peroxide 
uh, it does work it does work uh, peroxide I would not use more than 10 milliliters in a day once again it's uh, you know at your own risk uh, I have not had any fish die off because of it nor have I even seen any that had any stress so uh, if you don't have Excel readily available and you're on a low budget or a tight budget you can use peroxide you want to use the three percent the the it's the common stuff that's sold in most uh, stores and and uh, it will do the trick um, you, there's also the removal of like some of these leaves are kinda kinda ragged looking anyways there's a one looks like a chewed off so I'm gonna clip some of these leaves out of here anyways but uh, being that everything else looks pretty good Nubius looking pretty good tiger lotus is looking great Monte Gracilis seems to be really just targeting mostly my uh, Amazon sword plant here I'm just gonna deal with it uh, as spot treatments at this point but uh, yeah um, I'll be back later and we'll go through another treatment or two and I'll show you the progress that we uh, that we get over the next uh, week or so so you can see that it does in fact work so stay tuned for more